What's up everybody? Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. Today's project is going to be to put an N20 map sensor on my F30 N55 BMW. I've got an aftermarket turbo and quite a bit of work done. So what we're doing is we're maxing out the stock 2.5 bar sensor at around 21.8 PSI. This 3.5 bar sensor will allow us to go all the way up to 38 PSI, which isn't happening by the way, but it leaves some room for growth, which I like. So we're gonna install this today. The only problem is that I can't find my metric Allen keys, so we're gonna have to run to the store first and grab those. By the way, before you attempt this project, make sure you're buying the correct part. There's a manifold T-map, or there's a manifold map sensor as well as one that goes on the charge pipe. You need to make sure you buy the right one. I'll put a link in the description. Just make sure you do that. You don't wanna install it and then have to do it again. Thanks to Justin over at Twisted Tuning for making sure that I got the right part. Um, wanted to give him a shout out. Anyway, let's get to the store and get started. <laughs> All right, we got the hex key set. Let's get to work. All right, now that we've got our Allen key set as well as our 3.5 bar sensor, I wanna show you guys where the sensor itself is located. So, that's it right there with the wires coming out and the two Allen key bolts. And that's what we're going to be replacing. I've identified that on my Allen key set, this is size number three, if that helps anybody. But I'm going to go ahead and pop that off and then uh, we'll swap it out. The install was not bad at all. So we have our stock sensor we're gonna put somewhere safe. The one thing that I wanna tell you guys is be careful on these O-rings. You can see that this one actually tore while I was taking it out. So just be aware you wanna be really careful with those when you're taking them out and putting them in. Um, what we're gonna do now is crank the car with the stock map sensor tune on it. And then I'm gonna show you how to update your tune once you do this mod using MHD. So let's go ahead and crank it up. I'm expecting a drivetrain malfunction. I'm sure that's gonna happen. So we'll get that on film for you guys so you know um, what you need to do after you update your map sensor. All right, so we're in the car. Um, we're about to crank it up. I'm using the new MHD. I don't know if you can see that down there. The MHD black box wireless connector for the OBD2. I no longer need to use the cable version of that, which I love. You can see it up there running wirelessly, which is really neat. So let's go ahead and crank the car. Yep, we got a check engine light, and what do you know? Drivetrain malfunction. So let's go ahead and address that now. I'm going to turn the car off, and... Uh, what I'm actually going to do first is quickly start a screen recorder so I can, I can show you guys this way clearer than it's going to show up on, on camera. All right, screen recorder's active. We're going to go to MHD. We're going to go to, I'm just going to show you guys this on the corner of the screen. We're going to get a tune, flash a custom map, the V3 tune that I have currently. We're gonna to go to options and then simply check the box for 3.5 bar map sensor. We're gonna click map right. Oh, gotta turn the <laughs> gotta turn the ignition on, guys. Let's do that again. Options, it's still checked, just wanted to be sure. Map right. 
what this is going to do is, one, I'm very impressed with the wireless MHD new OBD2 plug-in unit. It flashes in about 22 seconds, and you guys are going to see that now. But I'm, I'm probably going to speed it up just briefly. Um, but after we flash it, we're going to let the car warm up. We're going to take it on a drive. I've actually got a before log that I will show you where the target boost was like 22.5 or something, and it was only reaching 21.9. That was on this exact same map. So I'm gonna throw those up after I take it for a drive and I'm gonna show you the before and the after. But I'll let this, uh... it looks like we're already done flashing. Crazy, crazy fast. Awesome, all right, let's take it for a spin. All right, so we got the tires warmed up decently. We've got the car at 183 oil temps, so it's safe to floor. Um, what we're gonna do is turn traction control completely off because it'll hit the torque limiter if we don't. I'm gonna put it in manual mode. And once we get to a safe place, we're gonna rip it in fourth gear for two pulls. I'll show you guys one, um, not to bore you. And uh, first, I guess while while you're waiting on this pull, a lot of you guys have told me you wanted more in-car footage, so trying to accomplish that today. Um, let me show you that log. So this is before on the same tune with the stock 2.5 bar sensor. See that? All right, now let's see how that changes. So I've got MHD here, I'm going to start my log, as soon as I get to a safe place I'm going to be at about 2500 and we're just going to mash it. You guys ready? Felt strong. While we've got the car warmed up I'm going to run, do one more because my tuner likes to see two or three, so I'm going to keep going down this road and just hit one more before we... Uh, go back and edit this video. Hopefully we got over 21.9 um, on the same map and my tuner at this point is going to be able to turn the boost up and the car will effectively be able to read it. So that's really cool. Actually, while you guys are here, let's do one more. Why not? Start the log, get down to 2500, floor it. strong stop the log all right guys let's go check it out and uh, I'll be editing this guys I decided to do one more just to make sure we got enough data for um, pure boost to do what they need to do starting the log getting it down to about 2500 strong guys all right can't wait to see hopefully it worked and we're boosting it over 22 all right so as you can see the car is now able to read over 22 pounds of boost which is really cool this current tune is really not set to go higher than that but we're now able to and i would say this job was a success the car is able to read higher so we're going to be able to tune for it higher now Thank you guys for watching. If you came for the BMW content, stay for the 4Runner content. I'm going to show you guys some drone footage of the last time me and my wife took it out on the beach with my family. And we look forward to seeing you next time on BT Willis Garage. Thanks, guys.